Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie and um, just uh, getting myself or organized, just got um, put on the, the hoodie because it's comfortable. Plus it's Easter in some part of the world. And it reminded me of like Easter eggs, and like the dye colors that you put on the eggs, which I did not do this year, but I look like one. How's that? All right. So without further ado, hello. I'm going to be reading Each Day New Beginning. And um, this year, April 9th, lands on a Sunday. So this is 2023 when I'm reading this. There are many other readings on this channel. Uh, I started, I think, two years ago, two, almost three years ago. So there are three years of daily readings on here from Courage to Change. So like all complete books, this is the one we're, we're working on completing. So we have Courage to Change, One Day at a Time and Now and On, Hope for Today, for some Miracles. And... Um, we're working on paths to recovery on Zoom right now. We have a Zoom meeting every third of the month. And um, our first meeting was April 3rd of this year. And um, so our second meeting will be May 3rd. So description box will have my email. So if you are interested, please send me an email and say you're interested in the Zoom meeting and I will send you a link because you'll have to get registered with Zoom. And, um, and then I let everybody in little by little. There's little moon. Hi, baby. She's kind of looking around and stuff. So, all right. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. Hope you guys are doing okay. Even if you're not feeling those feelings, it's okay. Little by little. It's what we're here to do. We're kind of just hanging out connecting with each other and um, each day in the beginning daily meditation. All right. So there's a quote from Sun Mei Ling, Madam Chang Kai Shek. I don't know how to say that. So I hope that's did okay. So here it is. For is it not true that human progress is but a mighty growing pattern woven together by a tenuous single threads united in a common effort. Let's stop for a thing. Yesterday I was about patchwork and weaving, weaving events together, giving them meaning. Today, let's see what this is about. The weaving theme. So we each are spinning our individual threads lending texture, color, pattern to the big design that is serving us all. Person by person, our actions, our thoughts, our values, complement those of our sisters and brothers, people, those of the entire human race. We are heading toward the same destination after all. All of us and our paths run parallel on occasion, intersect periodically, and veer off in singleness of purpose when inspiration calls us. It's comforting to be reminded that our lives are purposeful. What are we doing presently? Our interactions with other people, our goals, have an impact that is felt by many others. We are interdependent. Our behavior is triggering important thoughts and our behavior is triggering important responses in someone else. Consistently and methodically, no one of us is without a contribution to make. That's good, right? doesn't matter what it is. Right, so each one of us is giving what we are called upon to give when we are in the right relationship with our higher power, who is the master artist in this design we are creating. Honestly, right? 
right? So prayer and meditation will direct my efforts today. My purpose can be then fulfilled. Even if it's just, it's normally really like basic stuff, you know, basic things, purpose, just like being the best version of our energetic self, our needle threading, our big design together. Just gives me, yeah, like, <laughs> or, you know, the, the color dye. That's, you know, I don't know. It just feels good to know that we have a purpose. I like reading things like that because it just, it fills my heart with some serenity and hope and joy and like, okay, that sounds great. It keeps my perception in check with my higher power. You know, um, you know, letting me just go, let go of worrying because that will only take me down. You know, like stuff will still happen whether or not I want it to or not. So just kind of like how it goes. Like, let's see, today was... Um, I don't know, like I'm trying to think. Oh, I know. I share. This was kind of cool. So there were two schedules for me to come into work today, and I didn't know that. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I have like I, I have a later schedule so I can go to the grocery, I can do the things that I need to do. And um just keep in mind I, I filmed these a uh, day before, so it's actually so in my world I'm here on the ninth for you um and for myself too so but anyway um on the day that I worked I was supposed to um, I had two schedules and they called me they're like hi Jillian how you doing I'm like I'm great I had time this morning to go to the grocery and I'm just like just resting before I come into work because they're like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm great. And um, she's like, oh, I must have messed up the schedule. I'm like, well, I was scheduled to come in at 3.30, right? And she's like, well, I have it at 1.30, but I also have another one that's at 3.30. So I'm like, I hope that's okay, but I'm looking forward to coming in and see you later, you know? And um, so I'm not going to worry about it. And, you know, they took responsibility for it. And I mean, I was happy that I was going in later because I did need to do those things. And, you know, when, when the body's aching and hurting and you're like, but it just gave me um, like, there's no use to me going, oh, I hope I don't get in trouble or, oh, I hope they don't think I don't want to, you know, like all that stuff that I would used to like think about, like, you know, to try to people please that's one of the things that we find out in four step like what motivates us sometimes it's people pleasing to the fault of our own you know well-being okay. something to think about so i'm just grateful that my attitude is different about it so i'm okay and had, you know, did, did have a good day and continuing to do so without that worry. You know, that worry is just like, why? But um, I just want to add that I'm humbled by the fact that I'm grateful that um, they were taking responsibility for it. I'm not sure, you know, like, I'm not going to think about the future uh, right now. I'm just going to keep doing my best to show up and be the best person I can for that position and also for my family and myself first and foremost you know for myself so that I can be whole I can be like a whole person a whole person that's connected to my higher power so meditation really can get me in that spot and that's what this last part reminds me prayer and meditation will direct my efforts today 
My purpose can then be fulfilled. So every morning when I get up, you know, as I'm making my bed, you know, I get on my knees and then I do, I'll do like some important yoga stretches, you know, and I'm praying as I'm doing that. I'll pray the, step, the third step prayer and the um, serenity prayer so that I can get myself in a space, a head space and spiritual connection for my day. And um, I know, like, for instance, I will use those prayers throughout the day if I need them, if I'm feeling extra stressed or if there's anxiety around or if I have to deal with somebody that I'm feeling jarred by, then I'll use those prayers. I'll take a minute for myself. I'll go to the bathroom, put some water on my face or something just so that I can change that dynamic instead of reacting I can act accordingly uh taking responsibility full responsibility for my actions so like if someone's prodding me I'm gonna just let that roll away and excuse myself for a minute if I need to or I'll just let them roll it out not take it personally, because it has nothing to do with me. You know, what other people think of me, it's none of my business, whether it's good or bad. I'm responsible for myself and, uh, and the way that I come off. Uh, and um, sometimes I have to fake it a little bit. They go fake it until you make it, but in a, with a, with purpose in mind, knowing that I have faith and trust in my higher power in myself, connecting to that, that I will be able to handle situations that have baffled me in the past. You know, like when I was still in the swings of addiction and, uh, you know, I would blame other people places and things for my actions like well I would be okay if you would do this or if you wouldn't have done that then I would have been okay or if you would have known that I was tired then you wouldn't have said those things and then blah 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 like come on how how did that work for me it didn't it didn't work for me I'd like to I've never seen it work for anybody you know, um, cause that's the distorted thinking that comes with, for me, um, living, uh, growing up in an alcoholic home, you know, trying to figure out like, is that my responsibility or getting triggered or being yelled at or me yelling at them, blaming them for things, you know, family members, like it never got me that satisfaction or that closure, you know, like even in relationships that I've had, like if they would just apologize, but like, no, they're not going to mean it. And it doesn't like, why are you, why was I looking for something from somebody who did the damage when they're not in some type of a program that's helping them to actually make amends, which is changing how they are. You know, so what does that mean for me? boundaries, changing my situation, accepting how that is, and letting it go. It's okay. It was, it's, yeah, it's hard when you're in the midst of it. So be kind to yourself. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and say the serenity prayer and end this. And uh, I got to uh, help some people with get some Easter outfits this this week. So that was fun. It was really fun. And I was like, what am I going to wear for Easter? I'm thinking maybe I'll just wear this hoodie because <laughs> it's so damn comfortable and it's so Eastery. I wonder if I can style this a certain way.
I don't know what I would style it with. I'll I'll see. I'll let you know how it worked. And um, you'll see my Easter outfit probably tomorrow, God willing, that I am gonna be on here. So if I'm wearing this again, <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's see. I don't know, like I was trying to figure out what I have that's like Easter color-y. And this is a very popular color right now in, uh, in the fashion world, this one. And there's like a bright pink, but this is like more of like the colors. This, this is more like a coral color, like a bright coral color. So that's really popular. FYI, and um, I got these glasses were good because they're pink as well. I got them, they're like, um, they're readers because I only use readers still. And um, uh, yeah, they were, I'm so excited to see the bright pink. I have light pink ones too. Those are kind of, but anyway. All right, enough about that jibber jabber, my little baby. Hey, sweetheart, what you doing? She grew in. She's getting ready too. All right, so we'll go ahead and say the prayer. Here we go. Take a nice deep breath in and out. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change. Other people, places, things outside of us, right? Uh, to have the courage to change the things we can. Ourselves, our attitudes, our actions our perceptions, and wisdom to know the difference. Yep. So God's will not ours be done. So keep coming back. It works if you work it because you're worth it and you're loved. Very much loved. I love you. Right. And the universe is taking care of us, even though sometimes it doesn't seem like it is. You know, let's just... Look around us and see how beautiful life is. And um, just take one day at a time, okay? All right. I love you. I'll see you, God willing, tomorrow.